Hey guys, welcome back to another episode from Tarantulas in the Wild. My name is Martin and I'm from Bird Spider CH. And in this episode, we have some special news coming. So actually, we're just on our way to the airport in uh, Santiago de Chile to like, yeah, end this trip here in Chile. But uh, we thought that we get some more drone shots. So we have some habitat footage of the one uh, we you saw in the last video. So actually we just stopped here and uh, I flew around with the drone a little bit and Rito turned some rocks and of course we found a, another species of tarantula we haven't seen yet. So actually quite an amazing uh, Ewatlo species, a little juvenile one which I am going to show you in a few seconds. It's uh, amazing looking actually, it does not have a lot of tiger stripes, you can just barely see them. So that's the case, uh, we know that it's most likely an Iwatlu species and uh, it probably belongs to the same species group as the Iwatlus condrito. So we're not sure how they will look like when they're adult, but uh, we'll continue here for a few more minutes and hopefully you'll find some bigger specimens. Awesome, so we just found a bigger specimen. Um, it's quite small but uh, a little bit bigger than the last one. So we'll continue our search of this beautiful Hewatlo species here in this region and hopefully we'll find some bigger females of this species. So yeah. And it looks like Rito has found an adult male. Adult male? Nice. Adult male, so. Perfect. So we just found a bigger specimen, actually it's a female and uh, the biggest one of the three specimens we found so far and because of the fact that we found a male, I will try to mate them of course, uh, that would be awesome to document here in the nature and uh, let's see what happens, hopefully it will go as smooth as in uh, the Gramos de la Rosea but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens, so wish us luck. Okay, yeah, so as you just saw, the female is not really in the mood. Um, we put them together several times and the male is always drumming and communicating with the female, but the female seems not interested at all. So as soon as it goes too long, she just walks away. And uh, yeah, we'll maybe find another female. So we'll continue our search 
and uh, hopefully you can still document uh, some mating footage here in the wild with these awesome tarantulas. So as I mentioned earlier it really looks like a Eotlus condorito species group. So Eotlus condorito is quite far away actually. It's about I would say 200 kilometers from here but uh, it's not really the only the distance with matters but it's not really only but it's not only the distance what matters but it's the altitude so here we're around 600 700 meters above sea level and the atlas condorito we found at 2400 meters above sea level so it's uh, quite sure not the same species but uh, probably within the same species group so as I mentioned, we'll continue our search in the hope that we'll get a bigger female. So there is not only Ewatlus here, but also Gramostala. Um, that could be the case because we found a big uh, mold of a tarantula which was destroyed. So it could be this Ewatlus species, which just grows a little bit bigger, or it could also be from a Gramostala. So cheese, peace. That was a quite successful little stop here. Actually, we found now sp uh, tarantula specimens in all different sizes. We found an uh, adult female, we found two or three juvenile ones and one adult male, and also a s very small freshly hatched uh, spiderling uh, right next to an egg sac. So basically we can then document uh, the whole uh, life stages of this species in this uh, area here. So quite amazing and uh, even though the mating did not uh, work for us we're still very happy to be able to uh, document them here in uh, Chile so we'll continue our drive to the airport and to the main city of uh, Chile the capital Santiago so that was our last video last video meaning last video from Chile um, we have searched Chile extensively I've been there for four weeks in total and we have found so many different species of tarantulas we really wanted to see and we have also found some incredible um, 
species which I've dreamed of uh, for a quite a long time. For example, the Frixotrichus vulpinus, um, Eoatlus truxolentus, and of course the Gramosta la rosea. They were on my bucket list for such a long time and it was just great to be able to find them in the nature and to document them and actually to do a video with all these tarantulas in. So yeah, it was quite a journey and now we are back at home and we'll continue, of course, doing field trips and expeditions like that one from Chile. Um, we are already planning something and you will hear about it in the near future. So stay tuned and we see each other next week on Friday, most likely. Maybe there will be a Tuesday video, but you're going to see it. So see you then.